Juneteenth marks the day the last enslaved African Americans in the U.S. learned of their emancipation. Today's celebrations are taking place across the country in honor of Juneteenth, but for one woman, the story of Juneteenth is personal. Donya Backish shares her story. For Dr. Joyce Ritchie, Juneteenth isn't just a holiday. It's part of her family history. She used to share like the oral history to our family members. Richie's great grandmother, Rena Terry Watson, was born into slavery in Georgia. Her family has traced their roots through slave trade papers and marriage certificates from the 1800s. There was a profile on her great grandmother in a local newspaper when she was 110 years old that helped the family connect the dots to Juneteenth. Her master did not tell his slaves they were free until the Yankees came and made him tell them, she said. Juneteenth marks the date in 1865 when Union troops arrived in Galveston, Texas to announce all enslaved people were free. It was nearly two years after the Emancipation Proclamation. I always recognized it almost as a, a Texas holiday, to be totally honest with you. And, and so just to read that history, and I can't tell you how excited I was to see it. I immediately wanted to share it, especially with our, you know, younger generation. And share it, they have. Every couple of years, her extended family gets together for reunions, hundreds of family members celebrating their rich history and honoring those who paved the way. She forgave them. If we can kind of learn from that, that would be powerful. A powerful family history lesson that can apply to all. Donya Back is CBS News, Los Angeles. And it's an important history to share, that's for sure. Richie's great grandmother also said the plantation owner was told to give enslaved families 10 acres and a whole ham. They never received the land, only a hogshead.